Welcome to Forston Manor and to our virtual tour. Today we are going to take you around our school and hopefully give you a brief insight into what everyday life is like as a member of the Forston family. This is our sports hall. In PE we do a range of different sports including football, tennis, athletics, badminton, rugby and so much more. We have our own gymnasium, sports field and tennis courts and a fantastic team of teachers who are passionate and dedicated. Sports Day is always a highlight on the school calendar as everyone is encouraged to take part in as many sports as possible and the whole school is there to support and cheer each other on. Photography is one of my favourite subjects. We get to create amazing photos and portraits. We have some fantastic equipment in photography including lots of cameras, lights, backdrops and even our own photography darkroom. We are fortunate enough to have some great outside spaces here at Falston. We can be outside at break time, lunch time, as well as before and after school. This really helps with our mental health and well-being. This is our International Business Week. Business and enterprise are important aspects of our school and offer lots of amazing opportunities, including trips, visits and outside professionals coming in to talk to us. We have three business classrooms, as well as a state-of-the-art business conference suite. This is used for school meetings and events, as well as by our fellow students who take business studies at GCC or A-level. Within the International Business Suite, we have our Modern Languages classrooms. Students have the opportunity to study French in Key Stage 3 and also Key Stage 4. We have multiple ICT suites here at Falston, each one fitted out with fantastic computers. These rooms are open at lunchtime and after school for students to complete work at our homework club and also for independent study. Forston Manor School is separated into four houses. This is Chroma. Each house has its own area with lockers for students, toilets, the head of house and pastoral assistance office and a canteen that is open for breakfast and at break and lunchtime. This is Morrison House. Hale's house is red and was my house when I was in year 7 to 11. Each house has its own team for sports and events, and these can get really competitive, particularly on sports day when all four houses compete against each other. This is the Stanhope House area. The M Block is a new building with large, bright and airy classrooms, as well as some open classrooms too. Our radio room is also located here, and can be used by students to create their own radio shows, talk shows and podcasts. Fulson FM is really popular. English and Maths are core subjects for everyone in Year 7 to 11 and we are fortunate to have lots of enthusiastic and dynamic teachers which help us to make our lessons fun and engaging. Reception is the heart of the school and it's open from 8.15 to 4.45pm every day. The reception area is also home to our head of school, Mrs Burden, who is really approachable and friendly. You can also see a selection of whole school photographs on display in the foyer. Some of these date back to 1978, a year after the school opened. Our science labs are fully kitted out with equipment to allow their learnings to be hands-on, engaging and exciting. Science is another core cool subject in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, and some students can take science at A-Level 2. Our creative faculty houses product design, food technology, textiles and art. Each room has an extraordinary range of tools and equipment for students to use which allows them to explore their creative side. Each department produces some incredible work, some of which is on display throughout the school. Everyone has an opportunity to take all these subjects in Key Stage 3 and many students go on to study these creative subjects at GCSE and Post 16. We are now coming into our S Block, a brand new state of the art facility which houses social sciences, our library and the Sixth Form Centre. The library has a vast range of fact and fiction books available for students to use or borrow and many students have taken the opportunity to become library assistants. Mm -hmm. 
Year 12 and 13 students have access to their own common room within outside terrace area and sixth form cafe, which serves hot and cold food and drink. The study zone is an invaluable resource to our sixth form students and is open throughout the day for students to use the computers or study areas for independent study. And finally, we have our performing arts centre, which houses our drama studio, music rooms and our Millennium Hall, which plays host to many events throughout the year. Our drama studio and Millennium Hall are both fully kitted out with audio and lighting equipment to enable our school productions and performances to be second to none. Every student will have the opportunity to study performing arts in Key Stage 3. Many students opt to study music, dance or drama at GCSE and some go on to study A-level music and performing arts. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of our school. We would have preferred to have taken you around in person, but we hope that this has given you an insight into what we have to offer here at Falston Manor. at Forster Manor have been exciting and nerve-wracking but the teachers here have made everything feel calm and cool. Mr Raya has been a very good teacher to go talk to at lunchtime and break times. 
he understands he has like the same similar hobbies as I do and um, my tutor Mr McCutcheon has also helped me settle into school uh, meet new friends in my tutor group which has really helped. The first couple of weeks we have an induction programme which helps us settle into Forston and know where our lessons are going to be and how they're going to be like and that really helped me know where I was going to be and to make new friends in the classes that I was going to be in. Through the first three weeks my whole friend group changed, like I moved on to different people and I feel like I know the whole year seven group now. So my favourite lessons here in Forster Manor have been art and design with Mrs Smith and geography with Mrs Finn. Mrs Finn has been my favourite student, my favourite teacher so far because she's made me laugh throughout the lessons and like I have with Mr Brayer, I have a strong bond with her as well and with art and design, I didn't realise I could draw like how I could. My drawing has been really improving. Forster Man is much bigger than my old primary school because like the size di the size difference really differs a lot as my primary school is a very small primary school but now to come here and I have to move around from lesson to lesson it's quite hard but like I said the teachers really helped you out. So the lessons at Forston Manor have been really fun and engaging and reasons of which are the different subjects such as food tech. At my old school we didn't necessarily have food tech, we had stuff similar but it wasn't on a very regular basis like we do here. It would probably be like if we had a treat that would go into the kitchen and make something like biscuits and stuff or around Christmas time. But now, it's basically a regular, regular subject. My first day at Fulston was really nerve-wracking. I can remember the night before, I, was, I couldn't sleep. It was really nerve-wracking. But when I came into Fulston and they all sat us down into the Stanhope area and I had a chance to talk to people who were in my year and who were in my house, it just, it made me feel like I wasn't alone in there. Like there was people there who were nervous too. So going to class with them felt, made my day really amazing. Our homework is on class charts where you are able to interact with the homework online. And it's easier because when you get a piece of paper of homework and you put it in your bag, it gets all scrunched up. But with class charts, it's easier because you log in your code that your school, your teachers provided you with. And then you can get great feedback from our teachers. All being together in the Year 7 group was almost like having a new family to be with. Um, it was, I would like to walk around the school but I know that we can't do that at the moment. But having that family that I've got over in the end block was really helpful and helped me settle in.
I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because every day when I come to work, I hope to make a difference to a student's life. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because the teachers are very supportive and helpful and it's fun and exciting. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because there's always a friendly face to turn to if I need help. I'm really proud to be part of the Forston family because as head of Cromer House I get the opportunity to work with some really wonderful students and their families in the community. I am proud to be a member of Forston family because here at Forston Manor everyone is nice, fun and, and it's enjoyable. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because the students here are so wonderful. I am proud to be a member of the Forston family because I feel like I'm part of a community that helps and supports one another. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be part of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be part of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I am proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I am proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters.
We hope you have found this virtual open event as informative as possible. If you would like to apply for either the Sports or Performing Arts Scholarships, please fill out one of the online forms which can be found in the admissions section on this website. You will need to put Fulston as first choice on the KCC online form if you are applying for scholarship. This year, due to the delay of the 11 plus testing, you are allowed to give five choices. You must do so via the Kent website. We ask you to also complete the registration form on this site to register your interest in a place at Fulston. This is a transparent system of application with no loopholes. If we're your first preference, put us as number one. If we're your fifth, put us as fifth. If you don't like what you see, then don't put us down. There is no advantage to only naming us. If we are full, you will be assigned another school. If anything about the process is at all unclear, please contact us via the contact form at the bottom of this webpage. To conclude, we understand that you are all faced with complicated and difficult choices. What type of school suits your child the best? Selective, non-selective, large, small, on its own or linked to others? Every school has its own unique ethos and values and that is what you should base your choices on. We have a broad curriculum here with access available to a wide range of subjects due to the partnership with the local grammar schools. The quality of education is not an issue here. We have excellent progression rates. The careers ex students have forged are a testament to the success of our students. Fulston is about more than that. It is about traditional high expectations and a sense of being part of something, where you are treated as an individual with fairness and compassion, where opportunities are plentiful, where your potential can be realised, where helping others is more important than helping yourself, and from where the citizens of tomorrow emerge to change the world we live in for the better. We all spend every day here working relentlessly to ensure that this is what makes Fulston Manor a very special place to be. We don't always get everything right, but we will keep trying every day to make it that little bit better. If you feel this when you view our virtual site today and you believe that this is important to you and your child, then come and join us. We would welcome you and love to see you develop in a place where everybody matters, everybody succeeds and everybody helps to make this school and the wider community a successful place to be. As well as being in the Fulston family, we have our own separate families, which is the house areas. 
it's a great place to go for breaking lunch, to eat and to socialise with other people and friends. In the house area, there's always someone there in the office to help you when you really need it most. They can support you in any way you need, and if there's anything you need to know, they'll tell you. First day at uh, in Year 7 was really nerve-wracking, but as soon as I got in and the um, staff in the head of house helped me, I was fine, and now I find it really enjoyable. I'm really pleased with what I've taken for my GCSEs, and I'm really settling in well. I took Geography, Economics, PE and DT, and I'm glad of all my choices. The subjects I took are RS, Food Tech, History and, religious, and Business Studies. My highlights of Forston Manor was getting here on a sports scholarship, which allowed me to get, to get into school teams and take part in Sports Day, which I thoroughly really enjoyed. Although winning all my events at Sports Day, it's the competitive nature which spurs everyone on to do the best they can. My favourite highlight of Forster Manor School is making new friends and enjoying every day at school. In particular, the after school clubs are very good and there's a wide range to choose from.
transition from year 11 to year 12 has been an exciting challenge. I feel although we was already close to the staff, we are even closer. It's a lot more laid back and we're no longer going from studying all of our like, lots of subjects across four lessons a day. We get our own free periods where we can study in our own time and manage our study. The sixth form staff have been very helpful and approachable. Last week I wanted to change one of my subjects and they really helped me in guiding me through it so now I can continue and be more relaxed. I thought it's not just the sixth form staff, it's also all the staff around the school. Um, I've found all of them very approachable, especially all my subject teachers. Um, if I've any, ever had any problems that I've needed to get sorted or any work that I've not quite understood, as soon as I've gone to them they've been able to help me straight away. The difference between year 11 and year 12, everyone takes a lot less subjects, where we were taking around nine subjects before, we're now taking between three and four. We get a lot more time studying those subjects, uh, the class sizes are a lot smaller, everyone there is more focused on just a few subjects they're doing um, and because of the smaller classes we've got a lot more almost one-to-one -one tuition with the, with the uh, teachers there. We also have a cafeteria which is nice to relax in and um, a study zone which is good if you need to do any studying and it's quite quiet in there and there's also computers in there if you need to use them. I would like to go to university after I finish sixth form and then do a course in veterinary nursing and hopefully pursue a career in that later on. Once I finish sixth form, I'm hoping to do some form of apprenticeship in the RAF. Um, this has been an aspiration of mine for probably the last six years. I've been, in a, been a member of the Air Training Corps uh, my whole way through the time I've been at school and uh, this has helped me with fundraising events. Last year we did a charity week for Help for Heroes and we was able to raise a lot of money for the charity. Um, my highlights have been spending every day with my friends. I also became a Red Tide Prefect and became House Captain of Hales. Yeah, last year I had the opportunity to become the Deputy Head Boy of the school, um, along with being a Red Tide Prefect. This was great. I got to spend a lot more time with the staff and other Prefects, doing many different events, helping out with parents' evening, um, getting to learn a bit more about how the school works. Um, also, spending time over performing arts. Uh, mainly music and concerts, that's been great, it's been a great experience getting to learn all different ways of performing and uh, spending time at concerts. Welcome to Forston Manor and to our virtual tour. Today we are going to take you around our school and hopefully give you a brief insight into what everyday life is like as a member of the Forston family. 
This is our sports hall. In PE, we do a range of different sports, including football, tennis, athletics, badminton, rugby, and so much more. We have our own gymnasium, sports field, and tennis courts, and a fantastic team of teachers who are passionate and dedicated. Sports Day is always a highlight on the school calendar as everyone is encouraged to take part in as many sports as possible and the whole school is there to support and cheer each other on. Photography is one of my favourite subjects. We get to create amazing photos and portraits. We have some fantastic equipment in photography including lots of cameras, lights, backdrops and even our own photography darkroom. We are fortunate enough to have some great outside spaces here at Falston. We can be outside at break time, lunch time, as well as before and after school. This really helps with our mental health and well-being. This is our International Business Week. Business and enterprise are important aspects of our school and offer lots of amazing opportunities, including trips, visits and outside professionals coming in to talk to us. We have three business classrooms as well as a state-of-the-art business conference suite. This is used for school meetings and events as well as by our fellow students who take business studies at GCC or A-level. Within the International Business Suite we have our Modern Languages classrooms. Students have the opportunity to study French in Key Stage 3 and also Key Stage 4. We have multiple ICT suites here at Falston, each one fitted out with fantastic computers. These rooms are open at lunchtime and after school for students to complete work at our homework club and also for independent study. Forston Manor School is separated into four houses. This is Cromer. Each house has its own area with lockers for students, toilets, the head of house and pastoral assistance office and a canteen that is open for breakfast and at break and lunchtime. This is Morrison House. Hale's house is red and was my house when I was in year 7 to 11. Each house has its own team for sports and events, and these can get really competitive, particularly on sports day, when all four houses compete against each other. This is the Stanhope House area. The M Block is a new building with large, bright and airy classrooms, as well as some open classrooms too. Our radio room is also located here, and can be used by students to create their own radio shows, talk shows and podcasts. Fulston FM is really popular. English and Maths are core subjects for everyone in Year 7 to 11 and we are fortunate to have lots of enthusiastic and dynamic teachers which help us to make our lessons fun and engaging. Reception is the heart of the school and it's open from 8.15 to 4.45pm every day. The reception area is also home to our head of school, Mrs Burden, who is really approachable and friendly. You can also see a selection of whole school photographs on display in the foyer. Some of these date back to 1978, a year after the school opened. Our science labs are fully kitted out with equipment to allow their learning to be hands-on, engaging and exciting. Science is another core subject in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 and some students can take science at A Level 2. Our creative faculty houses product design, food technology, textiles and art. Each room has an extraordinary range of tools and equipment for students to use which allows them to explore their creative side. Each department produces some incredible work, some of which is on display throughout the school. Everyone has an opportunity to take all these subjects in Key Stage 3 and many students go on to study these creative subjects at GCSE and Post 16. We are now coming into our S Block, a brand new state of the art facility which houses social sciences, our library and the Sixth Form Centre. The library has a vast range of fact and fiction books available for students to use or borrow and many students have taken the opportunity to become library assistants. Mm -hmm. 
Year 12 and 13 students have access to their own common room with an outside terrace area and sixth form cafe which serves hot and cold food and drink. The study zone is an invaluable resource to our sixth form students and is open throughout the day for students to use the computers or study areas for independent study. And finally, we have our Performing Arts Centre, which houses our drama studio, music rooms and our Millennium Hall, which plays host to many events throughout the year. Our drama studio and Millennium Hall are both fully kitted out with audio and lighting equipment to enable our school productions and performances to be second to none. Every student will have the opportunity to study Performing Arts in Key Stage 3. Many students opt to study music, dance or drama at GCSE, and some go on to study A-level music and Performing Arts. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of our school. We would have preferred to have taken you around in person, but we hope that this has given you an insight into what we have to offer here at Falston Manor. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because every day when I come to work I hope to make a difference to a student's life. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because the teachers are very supportive and helpful and it's fun and exciting. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because there's always a friendly face to turn to if I need help. I'm really proud to be part of the Forston family because as head of Cromer House I get the opportunity to work with some really wonderful students and their families in the community. I am proud to be a member of Forston family because here at Forston Manor everyone is nice, fun and, and it's enjoyable. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because the students here are so wonderful. I am proud to be a member of the Forston family because I feel like I'm part of a community that helps and supports one another. I'm proud to be a member of the Forston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be part of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be part of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I am proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I am proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. Panapa Fulston Manor, Upenu, Wese, Wakakosha. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulston family because everybody matters. 
I'm proud to be a member of the Fulton family because everybody matters. I'm proud to be a member of the Fulton family because everybody matters.